exercised salt is a sacramental. A sacramental is a sacred sign instituted by the church's intercession to help dispose us to cooperate more fully with the grace of God. The Catechism of the Catholic Church states in number 1670. For well-disposed members of the faithful, the liturgy of the sacraments and sacramentals sanctifies almost every event of their lives with the divine grace which flows from the paschal mystery of the Passion, Death, and Resurrection of Christ. From this source, all sacraments and sacramentals draw their power. There is scarcely any proper use of material things which cannot be thus directed toward the sanctification of men and the praise of God. Catechism of the Catholic Church No. 1667-1670 Sacramentals connect the natural and supernatural worlds, and therefore they sanctify our life. They are powerful weapons that assist us in the spiritual battle against the devil and his demons. Sacramentals include rosaries, crosses, holy water, and salt. Sacramentals are physical material objects that have been blessed and made holy through the power of the Church's prayer. They are not superstitious or magic. Consequently, sacramentals are to be treated with reverence and devotion. When the Church asks publicly and authoritatively in the name of Jesus Christ that a person or object be protected against the power of the evil one and withdrawn from his dominion, it is called exorcism. Jesus performed exorcisms and from him the Church has received the power and office of exercising. In the prayer of exercising salt, God endows material elements with a supernatural power of protecting those who use them with faith against all the attacks of the enemy. How is exercised salt used? Demons are fallen angels that retain their supernatural power as intelligent beings. They act on the material universe, use material objects and direct material forces for their own wicked ends. This power, which is limited and subject to the control of divine providence, is believed to have been given a wider scope for its activity in the consequence of the sin of mankind. Hence, places and things, as well as persons, are naturally liable to diabolical infestation within limits permitted by God. Exorcism in regard to them is nothing more than a prayer to God, in the name of His Church, to restrain this diabolical power supernaturally, and a profession of faith in His willingness to do so on behalf of His servants on earth. Exorcised salt is used either in areas considered infected by demonic forces or for the protection of homes, buildings, and fields may be sprinkled around the perimeters of the house once a month or once a week in rooms where there are regular occupants. A pinch of salt may be taken before going to bed if one is prone to oppressive nightmares. The following prayer should be prayed quietly while sprinkling the salt around the foundation of the home or at the corners of each room. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I seal this room in the precious blood of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. God bless you.